Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Leon Danyembe and I'm back again with another video. If it's your first time here, hi love, please subscribe to join the happy family. And if it's your second time, oh more, hi babe, thank you for tuning back, bye. So today is going to be a very special video directed to one of my subscribers. I think, okay, she's the only one who DM'd me and I actually responded um, because she was asking about a previous video I had posted and then she wanted me to do another one and this is the one that I'm going to do. But there are some other people who were asking me, Wuti, how do I do these things? And like, Nje, Hebo, I wasn't ready to like talk about it or oh, not ready as such, but Nje, I wasn't in a good social media presence, I'm not sure. But today I'm going to be answering two of her questions. The first one, okay, she sends me a paragraph. It has what she wants in this video. I'm going to try and insert the screenshots in the video. And then, yeah. So the two things are, the first one is, it has a video reflecting on my 2021 and my plans for 2022. So the first one is, how are you able to sort out and plan the year ahead? And then the second one is, can you share tips on how to make a vision board? So I wrote down things la to make sure that I don't forget um, anything and to make sure that I'm in the right lines. So if you see me looking down, I'm looking at the notepad, but I'm going to try to make sure that I look at the camera. Okay, please grab something to drink. I am drinking juice la. And then let's get on with the video. So the first key point, we're first going to talk about how I plan my year ahead, like the whole year. The first thing is you have to have a vision with your life. Know what you want and that you will know what you need to do. So you cannot be productive or you cannot make plans with your life if you don't have a vision with your life. You have to know what's where you're going. You have to fantasize the life you want to live. So with that, you are going to be able to make plans with your life. You're going to be able to make goals with your life. You're going to be able to make realistic goals with your life. But I'm going to go deep into this once I get into the other points. But since the first step is to make sure that you have a vision with your life. Picture your life. If we born in Pilayako, like you want to be married, have a husband, um, Nithalanje, in the rural place, just a happy family, your housewife, picture that, plan how you're going to do that. And then start dating so that you can get a husband. Um, it's clean so that you can be fertile and be able to produce healthy babies. It's the little things. And then if you want to be a, a businesswoman, obviously you have to know what business you want to venture into. Make... Um, make sure that you you get information of what you need to do in order to be that businesswoman and start that's very important sonja it's very important that the first key is have a plan have a vision know what you want with your life that is the first thing if you don't know what you want with your life then you're not going to be able to plan for the year ahead but if you know what you want with your life you know what's okay to say i'm focusing la okay that's the first step so the second step is be realistic you can achieve everything in life that you want but you need to be realistic um, you cannot achieve everything you want um, in life in a short period of time so you have to be realistic about that and distribute things evenly so point allows it be realistic it's not as if you cannot there are some things that you cannot achieve believe me you can achieve everything that you want in your life anything you want if it's good or bad if you believe that you want it you can get it but you have to be realistic guys you cannot say okay you're still in you're still a student you're not working anywhere and you say okay i want a range rover by this year how are you going to get a range rover unless again you are willing to compromise hey you're willing to compromise and do his day and get correct to get that money but i'm pretty sure none of that none of my viewers want to do that so you have to be realistic if you want a range rover you have to say in the next five years but for now you have to see which, which car can i save up for and be realistic because you are still a student you cannot afford a brand new car straight from the garage unless you have multiple streams of income on the side you have to make sure which, um if you if you're working and you know your income you have to divide your income and see, okay, this I can use and save for 
three months ngizo be sengi accumulate lokhu so in a period of 12 months ngizo be sengi kwazi ukwenza lokhu yabo ukuba realistic kakusho ukuthi there are things that you're never going to get but ukuyicela enqinisweni yakho ukuyicela enqondweni yakho ukuthi okay i can get this but i cannot get it now you need to accept you need to accept because some things you're not going to get them now but you need to work work towards getting those things usebenza kanjani you need to see the end goal if you find a range rover okay fine i want a range rover the first thing vele vele you're gonna need a car a small anyana car that you're going to learn with so you know actually driver's license everything but you not you cannot just start with a big boom car you have to start you're going to learn you're going to bump with this car you're going to bump it you're going to get into accidents not deep accidents but minor scratch so that you can get used to the car and then whilst getting used to that car you're saving up okay i know what in a year i can accomplish if i do this and this so i have to add more work in order to get more money so that i can get that range of i want okay be realistic with yourself don't just say um i want this i want a, an apartment this year you don't have means or funds to get that apartment because you're going to be demotivated and you do not want it so be realistic it's very important and then the third is plan what comes first I would suggest you start with the smallest things to the biggest things. So fine, you have envisioned your life. You see what you want to get this year. But make sure Uti, you plan with what is going to come first, second, third, fourth, fifth. You cannot say, I want everything at once. You're not going to be able to do that. You're going to like keep on failing on achieving those things and you're going to give up straight. So you have to know, Uti, I'm going to start with this. Na loku, na loku. Mena, I would suggest to you start with the smallest things. You are starting, right? So you cannot start big. Okay, maybe you can, but let's be realistic. You cannot start big. You have to start small. And when you start getting those small things, you can say, okay, if I do this, I can achieve this. So start small and got those big things like for an instant me now i mentioned there's a reel that i posted on instagram i'm sorry for speaking zulu guys i'm going to try to speak english always so there's a reel that i posted on instagram i mentioned that i want to work i want to work with brands i want to grow my instagram i want to grow my youtube i want to get a car what else and i mentioned the brands that i want to work with so these goals they are not too big but the biggest one is the car parts most especially since cutting out initially motor i have my license but cutting out initially motor so that means i have to take amal and do my lessons so that means my that goal is going to be towards the end of the year and then this of growing my instagram account that is easy because i have to make sure that i'm consistent in posting and posting is what i do is what i love it's my life everything that i do in life i post it so that's going to be easy so what i can say is i can say okay i'm saying if 100k followers i'm on 50k followers i'm not saying 10 for 100 i don't remember what i said <laughs> i'm sorry but I'm making an example now. I'm on 50K and I want 100K. So I can say, it's okay, I want 100K by the end of the year. Okay, let me say, Ulo, three months low, I want to get um, 10K. And you're going to distribute U 10K, Ulo, two months low, and make sure you work hard. If you figure that you 5K in the first month, you have to make sure that the second month you work for the previous month and you work for that month so that you make sure that you figure up. You don't have to be comfortable. You must not be comfortable. You have to work hard to get the things that you want. So for one you look there is a place, Lao Leke Kon. Don't give up. Don't feel bad. Just work hard. Yeah, but now when you work harder because you didn't work hard before, you're going to feel better, trust me. So make sure that you start with the smallest things. There is no problem with that. Because if you start with the big things, you're not going to be motivated enough to get the small and other things. If you saw Mbela Pezul, you're not going to... Hmm. So, yeah. So the fourth thing, I wrote five points down. The fourth thing is... Be consistent. I'm not going to read the whole sentence. Okay, let me first read the whole sentence and then get back into reading one by one by one. Be consistent. Don't give up. Believe in yourself. Do not compare yourself. So the first thing is to be consistent. It's fine if you fail, but you have to make sure that every day you wake up harder and you wake up with a, a strong mindset. You are working harder to achieve the goal that you lost. It's fine if you fail again. Just 
be consistent every day do the same thing if not adding but don't decrease you have to make sure it's okay you did this yesterday and this did not happen so do what you did yesterday and add more efforts add more actions into what you did yesterday every day wake up with the mindset it's okay god has given me another day yes but they died i don't want to get into this but there are so many people who have passed on who wanted things with their life so god has granted you another day and you're just going to sleep in bed you're just going to look at other people can do what do you want with your life god has given you this you this life make it useful make it worthwhile make your life beautiful it's your life it's your responsibility be consistent with it know what you want and work hard for it and then don't give up yeah, but now, the minutes love so color can give up is when you're saying, Oh my god, I've been trying so hard, but it's not happening. Maybe this is not meant for me. La 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 mama. Everything that is in your mind. God would never put anything in your mind if it was not meant for you. So trust me, even if you fail ten times, the eleventh time you're going to make it, there is time for everything. So if it's not happening within this time, that's what's funak on Ungulungulu is giving you another time. So focus on other things whilst you're doing the things that are going to give you the goal that you're going to get the other time. So don't give up. No matter do not give up on your goals. Never give up on yourself. If you give up on yourself, it's going to pick you up. Honestly, everyone has their own life. Your family members have their own lives. Your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, your girlfriend has their own life. So if you give up on yourself, must they drop their life to come to yours? Think about it. Work hard for yourself. In Bilo Yakole, you only have one life to live. Um, believe in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, you won't believe that you can achieve anything. So you won't have the energy to do anything because you don't even believe that you're going to get the thing. So make sure that you believe in whatever you are doing. Do not stress yourself or overload yourself by, by planning big goals while you're still small. Ngobabengi Shuguts, everything has its own time. Plan small. So when you plan small, you will believe it's okay, I can get this. Once you get it, your mind will be like, I know, I put my mind into this and I got it. So the second goal, the bigger goal than the first one is going to be like, I did that. I didn't believe that I could do it, but I do it. I did it. So now I know that I got that so I can get this too. That's how your mind functions. If you believe in it, it's going to come true. But if you don't, it's not going to come true. So believe in yourself. And then... The thing that we do the most that is really bad is compare ourselves, guys. That is the worst thing you can do to yourself. That is the worst thing you can do to the people around you. Okay, I'm following the party of the umuntu who is jealous, umuntu no more. I said, because we're not there. I'm following the band, I'm following the band. But now, if you compare yourself, you're not going to do anything. You're just going to sit down and look at that people's, at that person's life. Abana Ngulungule has given you your life. And your life has achievements, have fallouts, have plans, have successes, have breakdowns, have what, what, what. So when you're going to get an achievement this year, and then next year God is going to take it. And then you're going to look at your friend's life. Ah, man, Usman Bani got this this year. She was successful last year. Not this year successful. Now next year, for you come back. Hi, bo. We will go and you when you What about your life? Yes, this has happened. Yes, you've taken a couple of steps back. But you have to look at steps that are going to make you jump, jump, jump towards what, towards what you need, towards what you want in life. So whilst you're looking at other people's things, you're not focusing on yourself. There is a saying that says, focus on yourself until the focus is on you. Let me repeat this. Focus on yourself until the focus is on you. We are going to learn that we are going to be able to do it. We are going to be able to do it. We are going to be able to do it positive because you want to nourish your mind. We are going to be able to attach it from a bad day toxic because you want a positive life. Usugusu wenza show with everything you do, you do it for yourself. Angi shugusu usugusu minu gubanya bantu pati usugusu wenza show njogusu uhepi ngepilo yako uya ikuilisa wen. Because abanya bantu 
most people jane facts they won't look at you they won't look at you if you're not shining people are attracted to what is beautiful they will never keep their minds focused on a person who's always crying on a person who doesn't want to try new things on a person who's always feeling sorry for herself on a person who doesn't have goals on a person who doesn't work on a person who's not living a beautiful life so even if you're going through stuff, make sure that your life is beautiful. Not for the people, but for yourself. Life is about memories. Life is about experiences. Try new things. But you're not doing it because you're scared of what other people are going to say. It is your life. They're going to die. You're going to die. They would have lived their life. But when you didn't live your life because you were looking at what other people were going to say. Imagine God gave you his breath. Okay, let me speak English. God gave you his breath and he gave you mind, your own personal mind. He gave you your hands, your voice, your lips, everything. And you can do all those things by yourself. You don't need other people in order to do those things. We are born with God has given you independence. But when are you not taking that independence because you're listening at what other people are saying? Stop disappointing God. Take charge of your life. It's your life. It's not other people's life. They can judge you till they break their teeth. Till baby, 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 it's all. They can judge you. It's fine. But as long as you're doing something, as long as you're doing something that you love, as long as you're doing something that fulfills you, it's perfectly fine, my angel. If you feel as you and get to go to get Jesus, I could go to go to go to <laughs> Never. But to go and get a boot and get niggas in Pillar Yakopa to an Ula Labanya band and you went happy. Honestly. And then the fifth thing is you have to be uncomfortable. Allah. Yabana in life, be happy, but you have to be uncomfortable. You have to take risk. You have to take. A pet that you've never taken before. You have to leave your family at some point. You have to de-attach from people who you are relying on with your life so that you can be independent. You have to start that business. It's the time will never be right really. So start anytime. Plan. You cannot start anything. You have to plan. You have to have a vision. Sonje, I'm so sorry for speaking Isuzu because I'm, I am so sorry. And I cannot add titles because I cannot edit on these videos. So, Anje, that is where I'm going to end with that part of the question. And then I'm going to get into the part of the, vi of the vision board. I'm sorry for looking that way. But I'm not sorry. Okay. So, now we're going to get to the part of the vision board. I'm not going to get deep into this part because I haven't even made my own vision board. But... Oh gosh, I forgot to buy magazines again today. I'm going to buy them tomorrow. I've bought the posters, I've bought the prints, I've bought the markers, everything. The only thing that is left is the pictures. Um, I'm going to do the Pinterest vision board today or tomorrow. Because I want to know how I'm feeling after this video. And then, yeah. So, um, I'm just going to go roughly on these statements. I'm just going to read them. If I want to go deeper, I'll go deeper. But I'll go deeper when I have made my own vision board. Maybe I'll share some snippets of it. And I will say um, why. I know that I will be more knowledge when I have made my own. But these are the key points that I took down for you guys. So you have to know what you want. It goes back to that point. You cannot make a vision board if you don't even know what you're going to put in there. So in order to know what you're going to put in there, you have to know what you want. If you want to get us a message, okay. I keep speaking about church because this person who asked me about this question, um, she loves church and she goes to the same church as I do. So if you want to get us a message, you have to know. If you want uh to to to, to start a business, you have to know. If you want to wear nice clothes you have to know yeah you have to know what you want the second thing is start with short-term goals do not overwhelm yourself it's, it's perfectly fine to do a vision board for a month a vision board for three months a vision board for six months do not overwhelm yourself why am i saying this is because once you achieve one thing of your vision board you'll be more convinced to go to i can achieve another thing but if you make a long-term vision board it will take time for you to get those things and you'll be demotivated on getting them if you see okay i've been trying and i'm not getting these things so i'd suggest that's your first vision boards you can make a vision board for a year but 
you must have a vision board for like three months six months guys it's very important and then okay in Nakla for six months to 12 months yeah and then you can do it on your phone or paper a vision board you can do it on a paper so that you can put it on your wall every time when you wake up you see it has your own vision board or you can put it on your phone i like okay i like both because when i open my phone i see my vision board and then when i wake up i see my vision board so it's up to you good what you want to do i'm tired of talking now i'm just going to read the last thing and i'm going to close the video i will do a more detailed video on how i made my vision board yeah so i hope you enjoyed this video guys it's long <laughs> you're going to see another clip that i'm going to add this is the second time i'm trying to shoot this video you're going to see that video after this one if it's able to be edible if not i'm going to add it to youtube shorts thank god we have youtube shorts so thank you for watching i hope you learned a thing or two with a video if you liked it please like comment and subscribe also please share turn on the notification bell so that you can get a notification every time i post the video thank you for watching bye Ping.